In Game Guardian, managing the visibility of the app's interface is critical, especially when scripting custom menus or automating gameplay. The functions Is Visible and Set Visible are essential tools for this purpose. Is Visible function is used to determine if the Game Guardian UI is currently visible, returning a Boolean value, true if it is visible, and false if it is not. If you want to change the current visibility state, you use set visible function, which allows you to explicitly show or hide the user interface. The variable running controls the script loop. As long as running is true, the script will keep running. Main menu function sets up the main menu options, like activating features or quitting the script. Alert function is used to display a pop-up alert box with a message. This informs the user that the script is about to open the main menu. Choice function is used to display three options to the user. The user can select one of these options, and their choice is stored in the variable menu. The menu also has a title, select an option, which appears at the top. If the user chooses an option, menu will store the corresponding number for that choice. 1 for feature A. 2 for feature B. 3 for quit. If the user cancels the menu, menu will be set to nil. The if block of code checks the user's choice from the menu and executes corresponding actions. If menu equal to 1, the script calls the feature A. Else if menu equal to 2, the script calls the feature B. Else if menu equal to 3, the script sets running to false, which will stop the main loop and exit the script. In summary, based on the user's choice, the script either activates a feature or exits by setting running to false. The functions feature A and feature B are placeholders for custom actions or features that you want to activate in your script. When called feature A, it will execute the code inside it. In this case, it shows an alert with the message feature A activated. You can replace the comment, your code here, with the specific code for feature A. Similarly, when feature B is called, it will show in a message, feature B activated. In short, these functions are used to trigger specific actions and notify the user with an alert when a feature is activated.
This block of code starts a loop that will keep executing as long as the running variable is true. The loop will repeat until running is set to false. Inside the loop, the script checks if the game guardian UI is visible. If it is, it suppresses the UI from reappearing using set visible false. The main menu function is then called displaying the custom menu for the user to interact with. Sleep function pauses the script for 100 milliseconds to avoid overloading the system and to make the loop run more smoothly. After the loop ends, an alert is shown with the message, sayonara, signaling the end of the script. Is visible and set visible functions are commonly used in loops to manage the visibility of the game guardian UI, ensuring a smooth user experience with your custom menu. By hiding the default game guardian interface, you create a more streamlined and focused experience, free from distractions. By controlling when the interface appears or disappears, you allow users to interact seamlessly with the script, making it easier for them to navigate through features or options without interference from the default user interface.